Well, we often hear about people breaking into garages, but rarely does it involve stolen artwork. We're talking art that's been showcased all around the city. Well, as Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us, that artist needs your help to find it. You first have a break and you really can't place what's missing. Like an unfinished sketch laid out on canvas. But then I went to bed that night and I was like, oh my God, my painting's gone. For Latoya Marlin. About 10 years ago, my mother got breast cancer. Art is family. And I started doing art again. It became an escape while working in her legal field became her passion. I lost a brother to gun violence when I was very young. This weekend, her worlds crossed paths. It appears that they came through my front yard. A burglar hopping her privacy fence. Destroyed the frame of the entrance door and kind of came through the garage. It was the second time someone had broken into it. They took a TV that I was going to donate. Then laid their eyes on this painting. It has wood on it, it has leather on it. And has been on display at various locations in town. Central Library, just recently Harrison Center. I was bringing it home from a show. I normally don't store art in the garage. Just two blocks away, another garage was broken into last night. They were able to get some good footage. And I'm curious if it's the same person. I'm not for sure. What she is sure of, however, it was actually a series the other two have sold. Is that she wants it back. It's a hobby, but it also helps me live. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now we're putting the word out tonight. If you know anything about where the painting is, you can bring it to the Indianapolis Central Library and leave it with the curator there. If you've seen the painting around, you are urged to contact IMPD.